Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brandon Bridges with Local Technology Solution and uh, here sitting with an HP desktop computer that I purchased. It's an HP M01-F1024. Uh, most people that know me are going to say, Brandon, why did you buy a Hewitt Packer computer? You're always talking about how they're not the best and uh, how they have some uh, interesting design flaws and uh, problems. And uh, the reason I bought this machine is, is it was uh, $480 after tax and uh, the chip inside is the new Ryzen 7 4700G. It's getting great reviews on YouTube from people that are reviewing it, and you can't buy just the processor right now. You can only buy the machine, the uh, the uh, company that builds the processors, AMD. They're only selling to OEMs right now, which means there are computers being built with a processor, but I can't just go to eBay or Micro Center or Amazon or Newegg and buy the processor. So I uh, decided I wanted the processor for one of my builds that I'm doing, and uh, what I did is I looked on eBay and the uh, processor alone, the chip was going for over $500. And I said, well, I'll just buy this whole computer and uh, I'll get the chip. And uh, the target price for this uh, chip has uh, been rumored to be about $300. And the way that AMD processors are going right now with the new releases, that means that uh, it would most likely be scalped for about four to 450. So, you know, basically thinking about it, getting it this, this uh, early, I'm basically getting the rest of the computer for free. I've uh, looked into maybe, uh, rebuilding this computer into a light uh gaming machine putting maybe a 1050 in there and uh you know selling it as a rocket league machine uh it does have a lot of interesting features one thing that i did notice if you take a look at the power supply it is 80 plus gold rated uh that's great that's uh, usually something you have to pay extra for. And another thing that's interesting, they only put one stick of RAM in here and for a computer that has an integrated graphics card and APU with a uh, processor, that is uh, not optimal. It comes with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got a Western Digital 256 uh, gigabyte NVMe uh, solid state drive. That's a great piece. Uh, that's a good brand. And I'm not sure if it has DRAM or not. Just by looking at it, I would assume it didn't, but uh, might not be correct on that. Might be double-sided. Uh, one other thing I wanted to take a look at is it's got the SATA cable, but the SATA cable doesn't go anywhere. But the most interesting part about this computer, looking at the reviews, uh, you might be able to tell already the reviews on this uh, product, the, the reviews on this product is computer. Everybody is saying it's it's loud, it's noisy, and the heat sink on it is uh, just not that good. But if you take a look at it and you know anything about building computers, that is a Ryzen chip. And the mounting pattern for the heat sink is for an Intel 1155 processor. Uh, that is really interesting because Normally, with an AMD processor, uh, you would have a different kind of mountain mountain pattern. This guy, I measured it 75 by 75. That's confirmed to be an 1155 Intel mounting pattern. Uh, what I had done, I'm doing a retro PC build with new stuff. This processor's going in it, and I was going to move the heat sink into it because it was kind of... Uh, unassuming and didn't look like uh, some kind of gaudy aftermarket part and what i was going to do is i was just going to pull the fan the fan on the heat sink i can uh, i think i got the heat sink around here somewhere the heat sink fans uh, 80 by 80 millimeters and it's 25 mils high and it's screwed on so it would be easy to replace and upgrade with a notch your fan but the big problem with this and the pe reason people are having problems with the noisy fan is the processor is a 65 watt tdp processor which means it's got a thermal design power of 65 watts the heat sink, I looked it up, and the heat sink, it's an 1155 heat sink, and it has a thermal design power rating of 45 watts. So the reason this machine is so loud and noisy is because the machine, uh, the, the processor is 65 watt TDP, and the heat sink's only rated for 45 watt TDP. So the heat sink has to work overtime, even when the computer is just doing small tasks to keep up because it's not rated for it. And that's the big problem with this machine. Uh, it's interesting how HP put a gold rated power supply in it, a nice NVMe drive, and uh, the computer build quality is actually really nice, but they did strange things like put a single stick of RAM. Uh, they put the uh, SATA cable in there, even though it wasn't needed, and they put a different heat sink on it. The only reason I could think they would do something like that is to save money and uh, they uh, designed their own motherboard. This is a proprietary motherboard, and the only reason I can think is that they uh, said, well, we can save some money by just having one heat sink, and that's not going to work out for this machine. But, you know, I think it's definitely worth the price to uh, get the uh, nice Ryzen 7 4700G chip. So I wanted to share all this information with you guys and figure the YouTube videos are the best way to do that. So comment below and let me know what you think.